This is a properly working doorknob. The lock on the inside knob is easy to press. The knobs feel solid when you grip them. You cannot turn the outside knob unless you unlock it with the right key. And the door closes without a snag. In this video, I show you how to replace a doorknob and how to solve some of the frustrating problems along the way. But first, it's important to understand why you would want or need to replace your doorknob. Hey there, this is Handyman007, and if we're just meeting for the first time, hello! And my passion is building, fixing, and improving all sorts of stuff at home for my family, and sharing with you what I have learned from experience and from others. What's happening to me? At bakit ka nito? Meron ako makita na kakaibang anyo Before even buying a replacement set, it's important to know the thickness of your door. This door is about 4 cm, 43 mm to be exact. So this new knob set I got has a back set of 60 mm, which is the diameter of the hole the knob goes through and fits doors from 28 mm to 45 mm thick. So my 43mm door is well within that range. So let's open this up and check what's inside. First, you have the cylindrical body where several parts are attached. The outside knob with the keyhole. The inside knob with the lock. The inside and outside rows. And mounting plate, which we will all cover in depth later. Next, we have the latch. Of course, we have identical keys. Manufacturers would usually include at least three for good measure. We also have the strike and the strike box. And taped to it is a tool which I'll show you how to use later. Okay, so let's begin removing our old doorknob by unscrewing its latch. Now here's a first problem you might encounter. Wood screws with lost thread. To get around this, once you have popped out the head a bit, use long nose pliers to twist counterclockwise while pulling out. Easy does it. By the way, when working with doors, what I like to do is wedge something between the door and the jam, like my toolbox. This prevents the door from accidentally shutting close and locking myself inside or outside. Better safe than sorry. Now we need to pull out the inside knob so we can later pull out the inside cover plate, technically known as a rose. This will allow us access to the screws on the mounting plate. Removing the rose is easy. Just look for the small notch around it and pry with a flathead screwdriver. But like I said, we need to remove the inside knob first. And to do that, we need to press a hole called a catch just behind the inside knob. See the small rectangular recess? That's the catch. And this is where this tool that looks like a key comes in. Its tip is the size of that catch and strong enough to press a pin inside it. Now, this is another problem that you might encounter. The catch is stuck and wouldn't let the inside knob slide off. Here's our new knob set. And just to show you how easy it is supposed to be, find the catch. Press. 
press with the tool until you hear a click. Then slide off the inside knob. Now for some reason, our catch on this old knob is not depressing all the way. Also, I noticed that it is partially covered by the rows. So I'm going to pry the rows off with a pair of vice grip pliers and cutting pliers to get better access to the catch. Give me a few seconds here. Now we can unscrew the mounting plate. So we can loosen the outside rows. This allows us to slide the entire body more inwards and thus exposing the catch much better. And this time, I'm going to use a flathead precision tool that's much sturdier than the other tool. And after several attempts trying to press that catch, it's officially hopeless. My last resort is to once and for all cut the stem of the inner knob with a hacksaw. Notice that I screwed the mounting plate back in to prevent the knob from wiggling too much while I saw. This should be fun. After finally getting rid of the inner knob, we can again unscrew the mounting plate. Hopefully, your old doorknob isn't as stubborn as this one, but in case you encounter the same situation, you now know there is a solution. Now, we just pull out the entire assembly from the outside. If the latch plate is stuck on the side of the door, a good trick is to take a long nose pliers and whack the inside outwards a few times. Then, wedge a flathead screwdriver along the seams, whack it loose, and pry out. Moving on to the door jam, let's unscrew the strike plate. Using the same technique, pry out the plate and the strike box with the flathead and hammer combo. Now it's time to slide in our new set making sure that the hole on the body is pointed towards where our latch will be later. Obviously, the direction should be the lock button is towards the inside of the room and the keyhole is outside the room. Then, we separate the mounting plate and the rows with a flathead screwdriver in the notch. The mounting plate goes there, but not yet. 
we need to slide in the latch through the side of the door, making sure that the angled side is pointing towards the door jamb. Then carefully position the T-end of the latch inside the hole of the body. They most likely will have the same shape. To check if you have successfully connected them, turn the outside knob. The latch should sink into the door every time. Time to secure the body onto the door. Slide the mounting plate through the inside sleeve, making sure that the screw holes are aligned. Insert and tighten the screws alternately to press the body onto the door evenly. Do a quick test if the knob and latch are still connected. Then, secure the latch with the screws that came with it. Again, tighten alternately to get an even pressure. Do one more test. Good. Let's slide the rows on top of the mounting plate, making sure that the notches align. Then, press firmly all around until it snaps on. Finally, let's slide our inside knob onto the sleeve, also making sure that the notches are aligned. Give it a light tap with your hand until it snaps into place. Now, test the lock and the knob. All good. To install the striker onto the jam, swing the door until the latch slightly touches the jam, and mark the top and bottom edge of the latch against the jam. This will be our guide in positioning our striker and striker box. Because if the striker isn't aligned with these guidelines, the door will not close smoothly. Another problem you may encounter is that the new striker box is bigger than the hole on the jam. Just chisel off the wood with your flathead while paying attention that the top and bottom guidelines should always be within the height of the hole. Tested bilaliwala Ang isip ko'y nagry Ako'y nalilito Ano kayang tsura ng multong nakita ko Baliwala minsan Minsan'y nangingini Ngayon'y masyado na akong naiinis What's happening to me? At bakit ka nito? Meron akong makita na kakaiba ang anyo Meron kaya Kung third eye Kakaibang ka ba aking tinataglay I didn't know the reason why Sa dami-dami tao Bakit ako pa ang my third eye? Sana'y naisip ko, I'll never be afraid Ang mukha ng multo'y di ko nababatid Sana'y di na lang, ako magtataka Kung bakit ang katulad nila'y kakaiba Meron kaya akong third eye Sa dami-daming tao, bakit ako?
ako pa Meron kaya akong third eye Kakaibang ka ba aking tinataglay I didn't know the reason why Bakit ako pa ang my third eye? This is Andyman 007. Case closed.